Hey friends, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a midweek video, but I thought as Paris is only less than a week away, I would take you through the kit and the things I'm going to wear on race day. So let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to wear some Nike shorts. So these are the shorts I'm going to wear. I've actually got two pairs. These ones don't have a liner, which is a bit annoying because when you're running far, it helps so much to have the liner. And as you can see, they've got a zip pocket at the back. You could put something in there. But great shorts, I really recommend. The other shorts, I'm, so I'm contemplating, I'll probably wear, these would be my spare ones, I think. These are the other pair, nearly identical. The only difference is the line here. So there's almost like a brief type thing. That's really good, you don't get any chafing or anything like that. The, I think these are like, like an upgraded version. You do also have pocket on the back, which is handy. Elastic thing, love Nike shorts. And to be honest, New Balance do some great shorts as well. But um, at the moment, I'm sticking with what I've always worn in races. Um, as it's early doors, I'm going to go with Nike shorts. I'm going to be taking my Nike just normal T-shirt. This is more for emergencies, I suppose. And if it were to be exceptionally cold, but as you can see, standard normal night tea, quite good, great, great thing. I'm going to be wearing when I'm running on the race day is trusty Nike vest. This vest has done the 100 mile, 50 mile, an Ironman, great vest. The Nike running one, it's not like one of those um, gym vests, which is, I've got, I actually have got a Nike one, which goes all the way down here. This is just like a normal fitting one, which is quite nice, looks quite good. Great, you've got loads of room, room when you're running. I absolutely love it. This is the best vest I have worn and tried out. So I just use wear it again. I haven't really changed a lot on the vest front. I've looked at the weather forecast and it looks to be about currently as it stands, which is, I'm filming this on Tuesday the 2nd of April, looking to get to maybe 20s, 22. Not very sunny, but still a, quite a difference from the UK. A bit of a tip when you're running, it might not be sunny, it can be grey and almost rainy but if you get the glare over a long period of time it's amazing how it makes you tired and fatigued so this is a cap called 2xu i don't think it was that much money i've had it for a while wore it for my iron man really recommend so put this bad boy on like so obviously the top of your head is still open but it fits well feels comfortable you can chuck water on your head still absolute game changer so I shall be wearing that cap on race day. On the topic of caps, I'll be wearing some sunglasses. These are the sunglasses I'm going to be wearing. These are my Oakley ones. I can't recommend these enough. These are basically more for day to day. They're not really, a, they're not sport sunglasses. I do have um, ones I wore for my cycle, my Ironman, that more like fitted and come under here and go back. They're cool. But these just fit well. I run in them a lot. I've done over 20 miles. They don't rub over that period, maybe over 30 they might do. They feel good, they look great, just love them. Can't recommend enough. I've had a few, to be fair, I was in an Apple store once and a security guard came over to me and goes, excuse me, mate, um, can I just ask you where you got your sunglasses from? I said, yes. I let him try them on, he went and bought a pair. And then that day I went somewhere else and one of my friends who I met for a coffee goes, Ed, where'd you get those shades from? And he got a pair too. If I'm honest, I don't know what model they are. I, Z, M, something like that, prison? Who knows? Anyway, they will be coming with me and I shall be wearing them the whole time. Another important feature is I will be wearing a belt like so. It's around your waist. And essentially it's got, when you pick up your race number, you just pop out the holes in the corner and you put... You take these off, you put push them through each corner, you put them on, and it means that you don't have to use safety pins or anything like that for the number, and you just obviously put it around your waist. It's a great way of having a number on easily. You don't have much fa fuss. Also, one of the main reasons I'm wearing a belt is its ability to carry gels. So as you can see, I've currently got three holes there, which is slightly annoying because I can only hold three gels. So the plan is three gels in there and then once this is round round my waist obviously it will be a lot lower down <laughs> I will put gels underneath like this as well and have it quite tight 
So I have three. I'm going for a gel every five miles. That's the current plan. Gel every five miles and a few jelly babies in the pocket. That's what I'm thinking. Zone three belt, can't recommend enough. Worth its weight in gold. Moving on to socks. I'm going to wear these compression sports socks. Two options, and I'm gonna take two on the day. As you can see, this one's got a hole in, I do have others. I've got all these like balls all the way around where spots where they say you need it, support, stops chafing, rubbing, etc. I have found, having trialed quite a lot of stuff, these to be the best sports for me, so they're called compression sports. Best socks for me, sorry. But what I did last time is I bought some ankle ones, and these are good, and I suspect I will wear these ones. So they're essentially the same sock. They have a, some balls behind. They're quite thin, they're quite light socks. Really recommend. I'm probably gonna go ankle socks, actually, because I don't really like having stuff all about my shins. I won't be wearing like tights. These bad, bad boys are definitely worth having a check out. Here we go. These are the holy grail. Creme de la creme. Best of the best. I actually bought these for my Iron Man and I have not worn them since. I put them in the bag when I finished the race. These are my Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. I think they're twos. Alpha Fly Next Percent twos. Incredible shoe. They have a carbon plate. Look at that. I mean, really, there's no excuses there for you wearing these. You go to a marathon or races, everyone's wearing the best shoes. So you're not, you're, there's probably a thousand people wearing this shoe. What I have done is to date, all my training has been in my 2021 pair of vapor flies. They're like ruined. Not all the time, only for like fast pieces. Not even all the time, actually. And my, what are my Under Armour shoes? My Under Armour, like, Machina 3s, I think I've had on there. I wear them most of the time, so all my easy runs, all my, to their Hoka trail running shoes, like their Challenger 5s, something like that. I have been wearing them. So, but I haven't been wearing much bounce, so I've been trying, because my theory is, to get fit, do not wear good shoes. That way, when you come to race day, you've had to put so much work in over that period that when you put these on, I mean, this is Ed's math, you um you get some sort of gain. So that's what I'm going for. And you stand out too, even if you do look like a bit of a knob. I quite like them to be fair. These vest, hat, shades, vibes. And what I really like, I'm a big fan of this little bag. Love that. Let's talk nutrition. I have gone with Morton gels. Reason being, I use Morton gels on my Iron Man and I think they're disgusting. They don't taste very nice but they were the best of a bad bunch. In training, I've used SIS gels because I've still got loads left over. But for the race, I'm using these. So I've gone for caffeinated white gels. This is 100% CAF 100, whatever that means. It's 40 grams, contains caffeine, 100 megagrams of serving. So it's got water, glucose, fructose, calcium, carbonate, caffeine, something acid, sodium, something. Anyway, these have been quite good. Then to mix it up, I have gone with a Hydro Sports Gel 160. Idea is, I'm sure how Ed's math again, a white one, a black one, a white one, a black one, a white one. However, that's that's gonna be my total gels. They come in boxes, like so. These two boxes here, it's, about, it's the best part of 100 pounds. They're not worth it if you, if you're considering getting gels, I'm sure you can get other ones because they don't taste very good. So that's all the kit I'm going to be wearing for my Paris Marathon. As you can tell, I'm taking a couple of extra pairs of socks, a couple of extra shorts and a couple of tops. But I am, no matter what the weather is, I'm going to wear the vest, the cap. You just got to commit to it. I'm hoping, I'm feeling strong and I'm hoping for a good good run. I'm going to try my very best. I'm going to leave everything in the tank. Wish me luck. I haven't been doing these mid so many midweek videos, but I'm hoping to get them coming back soon to at least two a week and then three a week again, which I'm quite looking forward to, especially as the weather's getting better. But I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe and thank you very much. Hope you're having a fantastic time and you get a bit of entertainment from my videos. Thanks all.